We're solving problem 25 from the AMC 10B from 2017. Last year, Isabella took seven math tests and received seven different scores, each an integer between 91 and 100 inclusive. After each test, she noticed that the average of her test scores was an integer. Her score on the seventh test was 95. What was her score on the sixth test? Now, this problem is really hard because there is like um, because it's ordered in a specific, it's order, it's not like any test. So, what we do here is we find the largest possible sum. And that's um, every integer from 100 down. Plus 99, plus, there's 7 of those, so logically it's going to go to 94. 93 because there's already one there so this is 7 times 97 and similarly we can find the smallest and this is 91 plus 92 plus dot 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 and then plus 97 is equal to 7 times 94 and now we know that there are a few values in between these numbers because we found the largest and the smallest. There is 7 times 95 and 7 times 96 in between here. And now we can compute these different values. 7, um, 7 times 94 is 658. 7 times 95 is equal to 665. 7 times 96 is 672. 7 times 97 is 679. And we have all these possible test scores total, like the total number of points summed up, no averages. And if we were to subtract her seventh test, we have to subtract 95 out of them. Um, Yes, 95, minus 95, and minus 95. We can then find these new values. This first one is 563. The second one is 570. This one is 577. And this one is 584. And now, we have all of we have all of these written out, and uh, we want her score on the sixth test. And we see here that option 570 is the only answer when you subtract 100 from it, and it's divisible by 6. So um, 570 works because zero, because 0 is congruent to 0 mod 6. So we know that that works, so our answer for the, her highest test score is going to be 100. Because when you subtract 100 from it, it's going to get the only multiple of 6. That is our answer.